Well, hello YouTube. This is Omni Sensei coming at you with another video. And today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. It's day 3. Level 20, light level 260. I've been grinding hard and I figured I'd let a video out for everybody anybody and everybody who wants to know how to level quicker and how the gear progression works once you do hit 20. So, the first thing you need to know is I'd say the fastest way that I leveled now I didn't level the fastest but I say I did it you know semi quick it took me about seven hours to hit level 20 and all I did very simple was the story missions now in some parts of the story mission there will be level cap or level requirements um, I think two or three of them. One's like level, you have to be level 12. And then the other is level 15. And that might be it. I don't know if the last mission requires level 16. I never, I was already high enough level to do it. So I didn't see if it was level required. But if you do catch yourself like too low, like let's say you're level 9 and you want to go to the next story mission, which is level 12, very simple. All you have to do is right here bam public events spam public events you could do these if you want to but uh, I don't think the XP is as good I didn't I haven't tested this because I never I only did one like early level all I did was spam public events I drove around or I fast traveled to the closest public event that was popping because you as you can see it, it tells you when it will start to two minutes 13 seconds so whichever one was going on I would jump to it and do it now if you're by yourself like if you go to one and you're all by yourself um, some of them are easily soloable uh, others aren't so kinda pick and choose you still get XP I don't know if you get cap XP if you don't complete the event like if you don't finish it um, so it still might be worth doing, even if you can't complete it, and a, a little tip, I don't know if it's a bug or what, Bungie is going to fix this, but <clears throat> if you, once you get to the point where you're doing these public events, and let's say you go to one and there's like five level 20s there, then and you guys do it like super quickly you could always fast travel back to the same place you just fast traveled and it might put you in a new instance and that public event could still be going on so because I think all public events have like a three minute or a five minute it has they all have time limits to well to when they start and then they end so if you guys like burst through it like way before the time limit is and you're able to jump to a new fast point fast travel the public event could still be going on and you can get another chunk of XP so that's a little tip I don't know if it's an I don't think it's an exploit um, but you know I did that a few times it, it it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to do it every time like most of the time you're, it's gonna be take you the time limit to beat the event it's only if you have like six, seven people there, or even three, four, five people there, you can finish it in a certain amount of time. So let's say you do all the story missions, bada bing, bada boom. Also grouping with friends is a very good way to level quicker. You get stuff done quicker, you kill stuff faster. So I recommend that if you do have friends to play with. And then let's say you hit level 20, bam, you're done, yay. You uh, get all your cool loot from the tower and you're ready to progress your gear now there's a few things that you're gonna wanna wait to do nightfall is one of those it's a weekly reward and you wanna wait until you're at least light level 260 until you do that the reason is you wanna get the best chance of of a high reward from a weekly so any weekly you run into, wait to do it so that you get the best chance of loot 
of a high light level. Because if you do it now, you waste it, you know? So you want to wait until you're 260 at least. And start getting ready for that raid that comes out. That's coming out. So, to get gear, right? Super simple. Same thing I was just talking about. You could do PvP. You could do strikes. Um, strikes are going to take longer, of course. They're... Most of them take about 30 to 40 minutes to do, depending on who you're doing it with. Uh, if you're just pugging it, it's probably going to take you that long or longer. If you're doing it with two other friends that are competent and, you know, know, know about mechanics and stuff, then it probably, you could maybe do it quicker. Or you could do PvP like I just said, which is fun. I enjoy the PvP very much in this game. But it's also going to take about 30 minutes to complete a match. So it's still not the fastest way to do it. What I have been doing is the same thing I did to get those level gaps. Public events. Public events, public events. Just spam them. Also, I've been doing these um, lost sectors right here. It looks like a U, an upside down U with a dot in the middle. These are what are called lost sectors. And inside of them... It's like a little mini boss. And when you kill them, you get a key to open up a cache there. A lot of the times, they'll give you two pieces of blue gear. And like some shaders or something. So these are really good to do. I don't know the respawn timer on them. But I know every time I've gone to one, they've been up. I haven't tried to go, go back to back like different instances. It might work. Uh, that'd be a good thing to test. And also, these right here are caches, or chests. They also will give you gear sometimes, or tokens. Another thing is when you're doing each world, there's five or four worlds, you will earn tokens, and there will be things on the planet which you can collect. They're like, uh, they look like uh, plants or crystals or whatever they may be. And... Each planet has their own person right here. Only person on the planet. Little green guy. And when you collect the tokens, you can turn them in for gear. Um, I think I messed up on this aspect of it. I should have saved my tokens until I had higher gear. Because like I said, um, all gear drops and all, all loot drops, I'm pretty sure are based off your light level that you are. So if you're a 230, the gear that's going to drop is probably going to be like 234, 236. But if you're 260, the gear is going to be 262, 261, 258. So I'm pretty sure that it, it, it goes scales off of your light level. So I, don't, I didn't test this, but um, maybe it would be wiser to save your tokens until you just grind out some stuff and get some pretty decent gear score and then do turn them in for gear. Because they will give you purple gear, legendary gear, when you turn in your rep tokens. And every um, every area has some. And they look, I mean, like this IO token. And it pretty much tells you on it where you know who to turn it into. And then the name of the planet will be, uh, you know, where you're going to be turning it in. And then these are like the... Um, the mats you can find on the planets. This one goes to, uh, I don't even know. Maybe IO. They, these don't tell you, but when you get there, I mean, you'll, you'll figure it out. Nexus. So, and now also another way to get gear, right? Let me show you. When you break down blues, see if I have any blues I can break down to show you guys <clears throat> all right I'll just sacrifice this whatever when you break down this blue you get this gunsmith materials okay and you get some money now this gunsmith right here if you talk to him you could turn in the gunsmith materials to raise this bar up here. Once you get this bar to max. Like I'll just turn some in. He gives you a piece of purple gear. Same exact way that the rep ven vendors are on all the planets. Now these. 
I'm not real sure if it scales off. I think it scales off the same thing. It scales off your light level. Or maybe like every time the higher the level you get them, the higher the piece of gear you get. I'm not sure. So that's another good way to get gear. Just from breaking down blues. They have to be blues or above. Uh, greens won't give you nothing but glimmer. And then, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Once you hit level 20, um, you will keep leveling. See, I'm, st I'm halfway to whatever level I am. And once you hit cap on here, too, you'll get bright ingrams. Now, bright ingrams, you come over here. And you turn them in. See, I don't have any right now. But they'll give you cool rewards. They'll give you shaders, legendary or exotic skins, different ships, all types of stuff. This is, they'll give you more than just this. This is just what you can purchase with this. You can also get bright dust from opening a bright Ingram. Thank you for shopping at so I'm pretty sure you can get exotics from that too. Which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I got to 260. I feel like I would be higher if I would have done a few things different. This war is a complicated but you know, this is my first time playing Destiny. Um, I didn't play it on. I didn't play Destiny One. I didn't play Destiny Two on PS4. So I waited till PC. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I believe. Like once you get to that. Uh, level 20 and then you start just grinding your gear up. Oh, here, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Okay. Whoops. Once you... Let's say you get gear that you like. Like, I had all purple gear. And you don't have to wear purple gear. Uh, I, I pretty much wasted my mats doing this, but I just wanted... I don't know. OCD. I wanted all purple gear. Except for this stupid thing. But, um... Once you do get gear... And let's say, let's take for example, let's use a let's use an exotic to to base this off of. It's a lot easier. Let's say I had this exotic, right? Let's say I got this exotic when it was 230 attack, just you know, for example. And then I didn't level this exotic up. I mean, I just had this 230 exotic in my inventory. Well, it's not going to help me any, right? Because my gear score is 260. I put a 230 on, it's going to drop my gear score way lower or my light level so what you do to keep the, this weapon at par with the rest of your gear is if you get another this is a fusion rifle if you get another fusion rifle let's say i a blue one drops and, while i'm doing events or something and it's 265 or 267 for example you can take this and right click it and go here and infuse now, infusing, as you can read, consume a more powerful item of the same type to boost the power level of this item. So, so if you have a 260 blue, if you infuse it into your exotic weapon, it will make your exotic weapon 260. Now, if you have a purple mod, which is a hidden... Like, it adds 5 attack to your, your gear or your yeah. weapon... So this right now, since it has a purple mod in it, really, it's 267 minus 5. So it would only be 262. Because it, but because it has the purple mod in it, it makes it 267. So since this is just a base of 262 without the purple mod, if you have a blue weapon at, two, let's say, 265, and you infuse it into this weapon, you add the purple mod to that so it would be a 270 altogether once you infuse it and that's goes for the same with gear purple mod see how it's five defense so it, it gives five defense these don't give anything so if you have a blue mod and it, it's not going to matter but if you have a purple mod it adds that plus five which is interesting which is pretty cool so it, it won't take as long as you guys think you just have to grind, man. It's a grind. Grind, 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 grind. And another note is you can only wear two exotics. This is a pretty simplistic note. But you can only wear one yellow armor and one yellow weapon. So pick and choose what you want 
to wear. I have the helmet because I think it looks cool. <laughs> but I, I really need to look into the other pieces for the passive. As you can see, they all have passive. Like this is upgraded sensor pack. And then this has provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by shadow shot. So they all have different passives. So I need to look more in depth into what I want to run. But, you know, you have to get them first. So it's all RNG. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I hope this helped out. Uh, I know a lot of it's basic. But I know a lot of my friends and clan mates that I play with that are also new to Destiny they don't know really know what they're doing like they're just killing stuff and trying to progress through the story i didn't know what i was doing i only knew a little bit from um my brother he plays on the ps4 version so he's already done a lot of this stuff he's to you know he's told me some some hints and tips and then from just watching other videos and whatnot uh but that's about that's about it from my knowledge i'm looking forward to doing nightfall and I'm, I'm currently waiting on my clan members to get to 260 so that we can do it and i'm gonna be doing a lot of streaming twitch streaming if you guys ever want to stop by and say hey and ask any questions that's cool uh welcome anybody to no questions stupid unless you ask like how do you move i mean that's pretty stupid but uh besides that um and also, if you're more of a veteran player and you have <clears throat> better tips for that this video didn't cover or whatnot, just leave them in the comments or drop on my stream and let me know because I'd like to know. I don't have all the time to go and search through YouTube to find certain things just to uh, benefit me. I, I'm pretty well-rounded MMO player and uh, played a lot of MMORPGs, so... I kind of catch on to things quickly. So that's what I've caught on so far. But yeah, I appreciate it. Sorry this video is not super edited. I'm not a big editor. Uh, just trying to post it to help you guys out. Um, if you enjoyed the video and, and it helped you at all, go ahead and leave a comment below. Like or subscribe. And it would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.